Hello, welcome to episode uh, 114 of Slug Radio's Retro Lounge. Um, what are we doing tonight? Well, we're going to be looking at collections. So, I know last week I said there's no arcade collections in there, but meh, there might be, there might be. We tend to look at, well, attend. Um, last time we did collections, we did collections and um, we played five titles. So I've picked f another five. I don't know how many games each of them have got in, but we're going to have a look at uh, oh, some of them. And there may be an arcade game or two or three. But we've got we've got a separate item on the wheel for arcade collections. So anyway. Um, we'll be looking at things on the N64, um, Mega Drive, PSP and PlayStation tonight. So it's not very often that the N64 gets first in an alphabetical list. But there you go. Anyway, I need to get over to there and um, we'll do that by pressing that. Whoop, there we go. We're going to start, like I say, with the N64 with a title called PD Ultraman Battle Collection. Okay. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's Japanese. It's all Japanese. Just press start. Perfect first game. So, that doesn't look like it's picking up the mic. Is that better, Naughty Cluster? I won't make any more changes until you've said it's okay. Am I too loud now? Yeah, that's my name in Japanese. pressing the buttons while I talk to you about this. But we did have a follower on our YouTube channel. Um, possibly from Japan. And they might be able to explain what the bloody hell all this right. What's going on? If I turn the or I've turned it down a little bit more now it close to it. If I turn it down any further I won't be able to tear it in the headphones. I suppose I could turn it up here. I thought about that. Well, we've not we've not started the game yet, have we? And for you unsubscribed people, we're coming up to a, a a break in a minute before I've played any any of anything. Okay. Sounds like that. Okay. This time? 
I'm a bit too loud now, am I? I've turned myself back to two. So here we go. Um, I thought we were going to be playing a game now. Here's Ultraman. No knowledge of Ultraman at all. Um, I believe it's a live action series from times past and the cartoon series. Oh, it's too quiet. Alright, I've turned it back up then and I'll lean in. I'll lean in like this. I do always have to turn myself up for the YouTube video. It always comes through really quiet. Oh, I'm not going to be playing much more of this if I have to keep fannying on through lots of writing. But I've only seen the option. For... Well, I haven't seen the option for one game. I've got. I don't know what I've seen. just putting money in these little baldy machines and getting balls out. Oh, I, I, I'm done. I'm sorry, Ultraman. You may not think I gave you a fair crack of the whip, but I just can't get on with you. You're unget honourable with Ooh, right. Let's move on, shall we? Uh, we're going to move to the Mega Drive now. And a selection of games that's called Classic Collection. That's, that's all it's called. Classic collection. Let's hope my little fix for audio works still. There you are, Sega. <laughs> so what have we got in the classic collection then? We've got Alex Kidd. Flicky, which we've played before, Altered Beast, and Gunstar Heroes, which I feel we've played a little bit, but I think we've played it by accident. Um, so we're not playing Flicky. So we'll let's start with Altered Beast. And... Live from your grave. Oh. Ooh. 
Oh! Got a puncher! Got a puncher! Oh, what? That's a weird move he's doing, isn't it? What's going on there? Showing signs of hurt. into that one in fact oh and start button just oh it does restart yeah does it we don't have a yeah, level select or anything like way. that do we Your Sounds like a witch voice. Doesn't sound like the voice of this bastard.
Well, we're not playing any more of that. That was uh, Altered Beast. Let's see what else is on this collection. How do we get to it? Do we have to? Is there a button or? No. We have to restart it. We have to take the cartridge out. Start again. <gasps> Luckily, that's as easy as pressing a button. Sega. All right, let's um, let's have a look at Gunstar Heroes then. We may have a proper look at this um, in a perhaps a revisit or something like that. Might go on the revisit list. Because this, this is more of a, a, a flick through, really, a collections. So we'll um, pull out the cartridge one last time. And we'll just play... What was it the one that we're going to play? Alex Kidd? I think we've played some Alex Kidd as well, to be honest. There's a lot of hacks for Alex Kidd. We may have played some on a hack, hack show. Oh, 
So I imagine as a kid, getting one of these cartridges with four games in it, you're like, yes, four games. Town and even in Rocky Town, I will shoot. Right, what are we doing? This isn't what I expected. Oh, oh, what? Piss it off. So we can't get into we can't get into the chest for some reason. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Wonder Boy on the skateboard. Let's have a look at the options. It's janking. Gorilla. Oh, now what? Gun, gun, gun. Okay. I see. I see. I see. No, no, I don't want to go back in. Oh, I don't have enough money. All right, fair enough. Oh, he didn't go that far before. Things that kill me as well, will they? Oh, they won't. The caster will, and the wall won't hold my weight. But... Oh no! Oh! Be able to jump on it. Oh, do you know what? <sighs> oh. 
Um, right. Okay. So we're going to move on to our uh, next collection. Our next collection. And our next collection is uh, the PlayStation Network Collection Power Pack for the PSP. We don't have a PSP screen yet, but one is in the works. Good old nutty cluster. So, let's see if we can have any fun with this set. <sighs> really? I'm not having a good night tonight. It's not doing anything at all. Oh dear. Okay. So, so super short. Unless there's something super spiffing in this. Uh, these last two ones, these last two sets. Uh, okay. We're going to play. On the PlayStation. Konami Antiques. The MSX Collection. So, bah, bah. let's get you a screen. Konami Antiques, Antiques. This is the MSX Collection Volume 1. Now, we've never played any, any MSX on here. Um, yeah, I don't even have it. I don't think I've even got it listed as a as a console that it can do. So I'm curious to see what we're gonna get. Ah, oh, right. Another Japanese collection. All right, so at least we can see some things there in the background. That's not a bad collection, is it? All right, I'm gonna play one that I recognize. Konami video cartridge. Ooh, that's not how we remember it in the arcade. Right, we've got a funny golf punch. Right in the bum hole when that stick, I can see. You see where the star went. So this is this is weird. The buttons, I think either 
punch or kick, depending on how you're angling your joystick. Oh no, the joystick! Maybe the joystick's... Right, okay. Perhaps the kick's on the joystick. It's not the Yar Kung Fu I, I, I remembered. The writing's the same, but the... But I kicked him in the head then, why is he not? Right, so if we if we pause. Oh oh you can get back to the menu with a shoulder button. Alright. Okay. <sighs> so I mean judging Judging by the graphics, I think we're probably looking at. Oh, okay. uh, we're probably looking at something around the NES time. The MSX. out in front of me. Myself, then you're out of fuel, you're out of fuel. Okay, a bit spy on re spy on it without the shooting. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, oh, I, was say, oh, I can't get that. Sky Jackie. We'll find out. Is it somewhat plane related? Looks like it, doesn't it? Cheap or schmup. It's, it's a bit 1943. It's a jerky jerky. 1943. Yeah, I'm not sure how long I can keep up with watching that. Oh! Right, uh, it looks like the only button we've got. See, all that flashing screens affected my brain. I don't think we need to see another, any more of that, do you? Perhaps on the actual console, it was smoother. Is it Gradius or Gradius? I'm sure if anyone watches, they'll correct me.
I've always read it as Gradius, but then... played possibly a, a previous before. Um, I mean, we've, we've played games like it, but the actual um, the little guys running along the floor I recognise. Gradius. Gradius. Let's leave the Japanesey Japanese ones at the end. We don't put the box in. We don't do many sports game on here. Because we don't like it. Come on. Here we go. Would you add it? Buttons don't seem to do. Oh,
don't even know which is the ball to hit it with, which is the button to hit it with. So you push up on your pad to hit it, I think. Oh, down, sorry, down. No, done. Oh, hypersport, I think we used to play this on the, on the arcade. Obviously it's not gonna be as good a version. <sighs> So it's button control. <laughs> Won't be qualifying for this. Do you have to get through skeet shooting to do anything else? Looks like it, doesn't it? Ranger, Mopey Ranger. It's 
not very fast, this canoeing mouse. Don't want to go that way. Don't know. Oh, there's a current. That's why he's not very fast. Gotcha. 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 So, now, how do I get out? Well, his death is. I've succeeded. I um, animation looks like his death animation. Oh. What's this? Oh, that bad guy then. I thought it was something you pick up. It goes faster than me. Substantially faster than me. Hold oh, two of them. Two of them. Jump again. I think we played Antarctica. We soon find out. Um, I think it may have been a clicker vision. Yes. Oh, it's very clicker vision as well, isn't it? So we won't play this a lot. We, we know what this is. Of course, you can uh, you can find it in a previous episode. Um, just look for one of the Clicker Vision episodes. I know it means I'm going to die straight away now I've said this, but this feels easier than the Clicker Vision version. Is it, a, is it against the clock? Looks like it might be. I'm supposed to get the fish. That's why it was harder. That's why it was harder. I've just realised you can control how fast you run, and I was just running at the slowest speed then. So that's why it was super easy.
gets a lot more difficult when you're running at full speed. Jump off the seals. <sighs> well, there we go. Japanese on the left. Ah, it's always irritating when you look down and you realise you haven't started recording. It's a good job, um, it's streaming to Twitch. So I'm shooting backwards. there you go that's the end of uh, konami antiques for the msx uh, one more left now 
before we go uh, on this super unlucky uh, edition of Retro Lounge. Um, this is the Namco Anthology on the PlayStation. Oh. All right, let's have a look. This is Anthology 2. We played Anthology 1 in the first... first one of these. In fact... Did we or did we play this one? So we've got pack attack. What's the difference? Oh, that's just giving you the information. All right, let's let's have a quick look at pack attack. Oh, getting an earache tonight. I don't know. Fully down the um, shoot matchy objects game. Well, we may have played this on our Pac Man edition. Ones lower than where we land. Oh shit, I think Oh, I'm so you get that.
fast for me now. Oh no, 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 Oh shit. Funky tit, hasn't it? Okay, we'll play again. press pause no no options to get back how rubbish oh and with the massive like i know it's not massive but like boot system every time you turn reset your playstation it'd be a nightmare I think we'll pick one more to play and then we'll call it a night. I'm a, a rough evening. <laughs> Kings, that one actually. That looks like it could be golf. I have no idea what that one is. So let's go with this one because it's possible we played the, the other one last time. I don't remember if I did, I'm just. Here I am, pondering my life choices. Oh. 
Oh, that was a long falling star. Not very powerful, but she is very dead. Do you know what? Oh, I've had it. I've had it. Sorry, it's a short show. But with all the technical issues earlier on, and um, all all the shenanigans that we've had tonight, I'm done. I'm done. Um, so, okay, it's time for the wheel. Um, so, you know what it is, let's see what we're going to be playing next week. Oh, no. Okay. We have more collections. Um, okay. We're going to look at um, games that feature characters from DC Comics. Or DC Films, or whatever. That's what we're going to look at next week. So, let's go back to... This one, yes, yes, it is. It's here. Ah, actually, by the time we speak again, I will have taken possession. Hopefully, fingers crossed, of um, a, an arcade one-up Star Wars: The Arcade Game machine. And yes, you've heard me talk about my arcade machines in the past. My, uh, particularly my Star Wars ones. Um, but they don't work at the moment. They need somebody to look at them. Somebody with an ex electrician bent, you know? Somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, whereas the arcade one-up version of, uh, of Star Wars, the arcade game, plays all three games that I have in one compact little unit. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed. I've been looking at it for a while. I finally dropped the hammer on it. Not literally, you understand. Um, okay, so you can email us retro at snugradio.co.uk, retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's the website. 
at allsoulsnugradio.co.uk. Um, if you're watching us live on Twitch on a Monday night from seven o'clock, then you know we're on Twitch as YouTube. Uh, as YouTube? No, we're also on YouTube as Snug Radio. If you're watching it on the YouTubes, ah, uh, I tell you, I tell you, it's a long night. I don't know what's the matter with my head. Um, so. Oh, we're Snug Radio everywhere. We're Snug Radio on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, anywhere on the internet that's important. We're there as Snug Radio. And that's everything except for the Discord. We've got a Discord. You can join us at the Discord. There'll be a link in the show notes uh, around this video somewhere. And also, most importantly of all, uh, Nutty Cluster over there, over there, that side, over there in the comments, um, has a design shop and she's regularly updating it and she's putting all sorts of stuff in it and it's it's quite cool yes it's quite cool uh it's called inkspiration inkspiration and it's on red bubble and if you're a taskmaster fan that's the place to go to get your taskmaster quote merchandise so all all the quotes all the big quotes then um, go and get yourself a pork colours t-shirt or something. They're all there. Um, so that's Nutty Cluster's um, design shop, Ink Inspiration. I also have a design shop. Um, I've, I've not put anything up for, for a week or two, but um, I've been working on stuff. I've just not put it up on the shop yet. It's called Glorious Idiot. And uh, I do all sorts of stuff there also. Um, just go and have a look, see if anything takes you fancy. Uh, so that is The Glorious Idiot on Redbubble and Threadless.com. Um, so, without any further ado then, let's draw this nightmare of a show to a close and hope it's better next week. Yes, yes, let's hope it's better next week. Um, I've been Matt. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Goodbye!